Double Dark Dawn, Divine Pisces, 222. It is Monday, June 22nd, 2020. I'm going to do an energy check-in for the Twin Flames today. Let's see what we got going on. She kind of flew at me. All right, let's see. Wow, okay. A lot of earth today, which tells me I feel like a lot of us are feeling a little bit more grounded. Um, but I also feel there is a bit of an emphasis in the 3D coming in, kind of like a almost a materialistic kind of feel, but I don't feel it's a bad thing. I almost feel it's just a reassessment here on what is actually um, important. Okay, and I feel like a lot of us are... <sighs> And I said this for a while where we're shifting perspectives, okay? And I do feel a lot of it also has to do uh, with the 3D and and what we consider important, okay? And this actually, the, with with everything that's happened this year so far, I, I really feel that this is this is what the whole point was, you know? That what happened happened uh, for a lot of people to have to reassess, you know, what's important to them and what actually makes you happy. Is it things? You know, if it's things, well, let's take that away. Let's try this experiment. Let's take away our access to things that distract us from what's really going on within, okay? Uh, what's what's distracting us from our soul journey here. And that's what happened. You know, a lot of us, we, we literally had no access to any distractions whatsoever. A lot of us didn't even have access to people. <laughs> like, you know, um, so it forced a lot of people to really go within and, and reassess and reevaluate uh, some things and literally move some things around and take stock um, in their lives and, and to really face uh, the truth, right? Um, some came to terms and some went crazy. You know, it just, it just happens that way, right? But I feel that um, what this is doing is it's actually bringing um, a lot of um, anchoring momentum to us, if that makes any sense whatsoever, just kind of like bringing us back to um, that feeling of um, not being too much in the 5D, but not being too much in the 3D. It's like bringing almost back a balance. Because I feel like a lot of us, and I know I'm guilty of this, like, you know, during all of this stuff, you know, or I didn't have the 3D things, you know, I, I, I kind of went too much into the 5D, I do feel. It's almost like an escapist thing. Um, I'm a Pisces, that's what I do, right? Um, but a lot of people did that, I do feel. A lot of people, like, really went the other way, okay? So I feel like it's almost, this. It, it's bringing us back, okay? So we have to have an equal balance of both, right? So I do feel a lot of us are kind of regrounding ourselves right now, especially as, as uh, regards the connections, obviously. Um, again, putting things in perspective, um, you know, there's been a lot of emphasis on the 5D connection, and so I feel like it's kind of returning back now to the 3D, okay? And a lot of it does have to do with ourselves, with our confidence, with, um, Again, what we consider important. What do we consider important? Okay, and we're reassessing those things. Um, so, wow, a lot of fire and a lot of earth today. Okay, so what that tells me is there is forward movement. I do feel that with a lot of these connections, but it may be going in a direction that you weren't expecting, and that's why it's so important to release expectations because you don't, you you don't know, and you can't control it. You can't control it. So it's like we're being forced to release control, but at the same time taking comfort in the fact that there is a plan. There is a plan for us, okay? And that all we need to do is just follow the plan, right? But part of that is releasing the codependency um, on knowing everything all the time because we can't. There's no way to know everything all the time, okay? Um, but also a lot of us are facing our shadow selves right now, you know? That's what this is, okay? We're facing our shadow selves, okay? Which is a good thing. And we're bringing that into balance as well, okay? Learning to forgive ourselves and to release the toxicity surrounding some of our situations, uh, the closing of karmic cycles, um, the beginning of new ones, okay? Some of it, it's like stuff is coming back, right? Um, and I think we're in retrograde right now. Mercury's in retrograde. So, you know, it usually brings things back, right? So a lot of us, these karmic cycles are repeating again. Okay, and that may be another thing that's kind of grounding you. Okay. Um, 
can be a rude thing, but I feel almost more philosophical here, especially with the appearance of Sagittarius. Like, uh, I feel like a lot of us are a lot more, like, philosophical about the things that are happening right now. Okay. Um, so let's take a look at Divine Masculine. Yeah, wow. Look at all these cups, guys. Okay, so... Uh, Divine Masculine, I do feel, assessing his feelings, really kind of getting in touch with... <laughs> getting in touch with his feelings. <laughs> okay. It, and it's a good thing. It's a good thing, okay? Um... Divine Masculine also assessing what's important. And do you feel that? You know, a lot of them, you know, have been holding on to some of these karmic situations and it's because it's all they know. You know, the unknown is scary. And, and you know, I, I feel that a lot of Divine Masculines are reassessing their karmic situations, okay? And they are trying to make it work. They're trying to fix it. That's, that's what the masculine energy usually does is, that, believe it or not, they try to fix things. Um, you know, they don't just and then walk away, which is a good thing. It's a good thing, especially some of them who, you know, are in situations where it's a family situation, if they have a partner, if they have children, you know, things like that. They're trying to make things work. They're really looking at the bigger picture, and that's good. They're looking at what's important, okay? It's not just things, okay? Um, and while they do that, you know, it, it's helping them to get, into t get in touch with their own feelings and their own emotions and learning how to deal with them. And learning how to express them appropriately and effectively instead of it being just anger all the time, right? Um, and that's good. Now, I do I do sense a, a, a little bit of a longing kind of coming in, a little bit of a sadness kind of coming in, you know, feeling a little bit in the head, stuck in the head about what the right thing actually is and, and but this is this is good because what it's doing is it's helping break down the ego and they're getting in touch with that intuition and they're using that to guide them so again kind of reassessing things putting things in perspective and changing perception because of course your perception is your reality okay but a lot of them are closing some karmic cycles they're repeating karmic cycles they're starting new karmic cycles perhaps with the same person or with the same people or with the same soul group right now but it's coming in differently they're seeing things differently and that's the point that's the point okay um and yeah i mean some of them a lot of them i'm, I'm coming in this family situations a lot of them are dealing family situations with children with with spouses with parents you know um and they're clearing that karma and they, they they've been kind of going through this and again I, you know a lot of them are clearing karma with parents through children okay um and so what does that mean well okay it's kind of like the whole idea of reparenting yourself when you have a child you know you think about all the things that you dealt with with your parents and you're like i don't want my child to deal with those things i'm going to be a better parent you know in a way it's clearing karma right but there's also an element of things that we repeat without realizing it because it's ingrained in us, okay? So Divine Masculine changing his perspective on what love means. Does it mean control? I love you, therefore I have to control you. Um, does it mean money? I love you, therefore I'm going to give you anything you want. Do you see what I mean? So again, perceptions are changing here, okay? So they may be repeating cycles. They may be trying to to make things work with a karmic situation, but they're coming at it from a different perspective because things have been blown wide open this year. The ego has taken a hit, okay? And so this is where, um, it was skipping, so you know what I'm saying is true. Um, anyway, so again, I feel a lot of them, they're coming at this from a different perspective so that they can claim victory in these situations. Now, okay, so I know I'm gonna have some people be upset with me about this, okay? Because I believe it or not, I am pro-union. Union doesn't happen with every set of twins, okay? Because they have free will, okay? They could choose to stay in the karmic situation, make it work, clear that karma, because you can do that. And, the, and a lot of times the reasons that they do this does come back to there's guilt, there's, um, you know, comfort, there's security there. It's the devil they know, okay? It's all they know, okay? So some of them stay in these cycles, but they clear the karma, but they'll stay, you know, they'll stay. And if that happens, Divine Feminine, you know, don't freak out. You know, they're doing what they think is the right thing, what they feel is the right thing, and they're going the way that they, sh they feel they should go, okay? And they do have free will, and you cannot control that, okay? So don't let it upset you, all right? 
if you're doing the work and Divine Masculine doesn't step up and doesn't do the work, something else is coming in for you, okay? So just keep that in mind. But anyway, I do feel like a lot of Divine Masculines here are trying to claim victory over their situations. They, they are. They're trying to clear that karma. They're trying to make it right. They're trying to make it right in every single sense of the, of, of the meaning. Like, it just, they are, okay? So Divine Feminine, have compassion for that, you know? And if you feel like you can't have compassion, at least, you know, um, release it. You know, don't think about it. Don't obsess over it. Everything's going to be fine, okay? All right, Divine Feminine, yeah. Okay, so Divine Feminine also here trying to decide what the right thing is here. I, I feel like a lot of Divine Feminines almost conversely having trouble uh, with their emotions because there's so much coming in here, okay? I mean, we're, we're headed into Cancer season, um, which, you know, Cancer is, you know, all about family. It's about emotions. It's about um love really i mean that's what that's what cancer is so it's like you know divine feminine on the other side here while divine masculine is is learning to embrace his emotions divine feminine some of you are having some issues uh making sense of your emotions okay making sense of what you're feeling and why you're feeling it okay and some of you are dwelling on this some of you are dwelling on this way too much and it's literally draining you it's literally draining you, okay? So some of you just need to walk away from whatever situation is 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 pulling pulling on you here, okay? Whatever situation is um, making you feel like you need to to keep putting effort into it emotionally because it's literally draining you, okay? That could be a karmic situation. It literally could be your connection, and I've been saying this for a while. Some of you have not fully released. Some of you have not. You haven't, okay? You say you have. Okay, some of you are lying to yourselves, illusion, okay, some of you need to, to face that illusion, you just do, okay, um, and you need to be honest with yourself, okay, uh, yeah, because some of you just haven't been in, you haven't been in intuition, you think you have, but you have not, and that's the illusion that's been sh being shattered for Divine Feminine, I think, for a while, okay, so, the, the easiest thing to do really is just to face it to accept it to just say you know what yeah I, I mean you know this this I need to just walk away from this because you know it's draining me right and there are better things for me on the horizon you know and if we are meant to to be and you know everything works out the way that it's supposed to then it'll be fine and if it doesn't I can't do anything about it okay right so some of you just need to make that decision here and that's it right there that's the twin flame card so uh, some of you, yeah, you need to walk away from your connection. You need to make that, that decision. Okay. And some of you, the third party situation has been an ongoing thing. And some of you just need to just let it go. You just need to do it. You just need to do it. Okay. Now, some of you, you, it's your karmic situation that we're having trouble releasing. Okay. <clears throat> so keep that in mind. All right. All right, let's take a look at connecting energies here. Wow. A lot of cups, guys. A lot of cups. Yeah. Yeah, it's time, guys. It's time to move forward. And that's the thing is, like, I feel like these connections are just moving. They're moving in a different direction than a lot of people expected, okay? I know last year and the year before, you know, it's, it's just constant... When is he going to contact me? When is he going to do this? When is he going to blah, 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 blah. And he or she, take it as it resonates, whatever. You know, but but this year it's it's really about self. And, and that's the whole point, okay? Um, and if you take a look at the bigger picture, you'll recognize that, okay? Um, but yeah, I mean, some of you just need to be honest with yourselves here about these connections, okay? It's not what you think it is. Love is not what you think it is. We're redefining that, okay? You're redefining that. Yeah, boom, there you go, there's the two of cups. That's what I'm saying. You are re and the three of cups. Look at all these cups. That's crazy. Yeah. So I really feel that going into the second half of this year, it's going to be all about redefining our expectations, redefining the the conditions that we put on love. And I actually said this in my morning uh, message from Spirit, and it, it's actually all tying in together, guys. It's all tying in together, okay? These connections are not what you think they are. Love is not what you think it is. It's not. 
okay? And you're clearing some major, major karma in these connections and it's bringing things into balance. And it's time to accept things as they are. Live in the now. Live in the now, okay? Third party situations, release them, okay? Some of it, again, has to do with the actual connection. Some of you need to actually release the connection fully. Okay? All right. Let's get some messages from the counterparts here. I mean, I, I've said this before. I mean, you know, the, these connections are not this big romantic fairy tale thing. It's just not. Okay? You want that? Find a soulmate. Okay. All right. Let's see what we got here. <laughs> Sexual energy coming in. Okay. Some of them know. Some of them know that they're just not, you know, they're protecting you from themselves. Okay. Keep, keep that in mind. Yeah. Big time. Mm -hmm. Some of them are still going through Dark Night of the Soul. Okay, dark night of the soul can take years, and you can have more than one. That's that's the main message. It's always the main message, though. Um, I mean, that seems to be the biggest thing, people. And I think people are confused sometimes. They're like, you know, what does that mean? It just means live in the now. Just live in the moment, you know? Stop putting expectations on things. Just go with the flow. It'd be a lot easier. Okay. Yeah. Some of you, again, like the whole point of this, like walking away from these connections is so you can nurture yourself. You've been neglecting yourself for the sake of the connection. Okay. Yeah. Some of you just need to, to get back on track. Some of you just haven't, you haven't been, you've been straying a little bit and that's okay. We all do it. All right. But, but, uh, source is trying to guide you back. So just take the hint, take the hint, move. Okay. Source is telling you to move, move. Okay, that could be physically, okay? Um, but yeah, I mean, some of you just need to get your spark back. Some of you have just been so drained lately, okay? And you just, you kind of lost your gratitude a little bit, okay? Be grateful. Be grateful. Yeah, there are days I really wish I could crawl back under my rock. But you can't go back to being unawakened once you're awakened. You can't do that. Stop, stop sitting there feeling sorry for yourself, okay? The, um, you know, I... I, I I mean, I love my twin and I wish him the best. And I, I told him that the last time I sent him a video, you know, but a part of me is starting to, to real, to, to feel like, you know, maybe his whole point was to wake me up so I could meet my soulmate, you know, who knows? I'm just going with it. All right, guys. All right. I hope this has helped. If it has, please like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.